so at the airport super early in the morning and we're heading towards Fort Lauderdale well 4 30 in the morning Faith didn't want to wait for the afternoon flight so we got got this one uh-huh Oh, you wanted the full day in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> she does not like early mornings. It's pretty nice having TSA pre-check. The only thing is that we gotta remember is that they do not open until like 4.15, so it's kind of useless on any flights that are earlier than 5.30 in the morning or so. The only drawback is we can't get into our Airbnb until 3 p.m. So if we're tired early, we're just going to have to wait. So. these clouds out there. Here by Hollywood Beach. Okay, we're out here at our Airbnb here in Davie, Florida. Hello, Mommy Daddy. Oh, Mommy's was letting me know what town this was in. I couldn't remember. Uh, picture, table, all stuff we picked up at Dollar Tree and Publix. More stuff. Here's the kitchen area here in this Airbnb. We got washer and dryer, pull out couch, and in here linen closet. That's all the heating and cooling. Closet. Here's a view of the bathroom. Towels. There's our rental van. Nice Dodge Caravan. And we got plenty of foliage. There's even a Wapiti. Those of you who don't know what a Wapiti is, a Wapiti is an elk. We're staying in the, the pool house here. It's attached to the, the regular house. And our hosts have been really, really nice. Got nice pool to swim in. Focus in and see Sam's Lego at the bottom of the pool. Yes, that is Sam's Lego at the bottom of the pool. Got some coconuts up in a tray. And a nice swing. 
nice yard. Last night, they built a fire over by the fire pit. We've seen plenty of little lizards all over the place. We used to only see them every once in a while out by us, but down here in Florida, they're out in abundance. So there's the little fire pit. really nice quiet place we needed a, a day or so to rest and relax anyway so we're all recovering from recovering from colds and they pulled down a couple of coconuts and set them right there uh, pretty cool we even got a little waterfall Joy has thoroughly enjoyed the pool. Sam has enjoyed it some. Although last night he did have a little bit of a meltdown about dropping his Lego at the bottom of the pool. So I had been napping, trying to recover because of all the crazy shift stuff I've been going through at work. So I got a bit of a nap in. Faith had the kids out here. And Sam had made the mistake of putting on my snorkel mask instead of his. So he took on water. He started having a little bit of a meltdown after I had I'd wake, woken up, seen what was going on, and then grabbed his snorkel mask and put it on him. And by then he was he was already too too upset that he won't go and try out his own snorkel mask. I was like, this one this one fits your face. I was like, you're not gonna have the problems. It's like you you have to have a kid's snorkel mask on in order to go under the water, not an adult's. It's like you're nine years old. <laughs> but whenever somebody is upset it's kind of hard to calm them so that and he was really tired he was the only one that hadn't taken any naps or tried to get any sleep we had a real early morning so I think part of it was that he was super tired and needed to go to bed and it does help whenever you get some sleep but he seems to do, be doing really well right now. Last one to go to bed last night was Evan out of the kids. Joy went to bed first, Sam second. Faith went to bed after that. And then I basically rocked Evan to sleep. And whenever I laid him down, Joy woke up. And then I rocked her back to sleep. <laughs> watching this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button. And if you like what you've been watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. To see our latest video, click on the link to the right. Thank you again. Later, later.